the nerve, the audacity. Can't believe you niggas. How could you forget about me already? Drive podcast, nigga. If you want us. Punish me for smoking a couple of trees. You must look at me like I'm a dummy. Ooh, bars, nigga. How did you forget? Uh. Mmm, that hard. I'm pushing that, huh? Push a who? I don't know anymore. Push a what? I don't know anymore. Jolly Green Giant Podcast. Oh. I've been holding that in. Oh God. You can't you can't you can't strain too many of those. You can't you can't let it stay in that long. Jolly Green Giant Podcast. Oh god. Oh shit. It's like sneezing at this point. Sometimes you just gotta let it Jolly Green Giant. Oh shit. Alright, well, that was the last one. I think that was the last one. I think I'm done. Woo! Ha! <laughs> First off, I'm pre-rolled today. I didn't even. I I I had some time in my hands earlier. I was supposed to smoke this a long time ago. I just didn't. So now you don't have to see me struggle through that while talking to you bastards. Um. Damn. <laughs> damn. It's been an interesting couple of weeks. Uh. First off, congratulations, Pusha T, dropping Daytona. Uh, very very uh adult contemporary rap. I do agree with those uh those critics out there. I I feel like I'm listening to my fucking like you know to my uncle or some shit talk about the shit he used to do. Which you know that's every album with you now. But hey, obviously we don't care because we still keep on buying that shit. And uh, I'm not upset. I'm not mad at it. You are dope. Bars for days. Do what you do. Um. Can I tell you something though, Push? If you uh, if you ask me, I'm you know, and I'm I'm the first dark skinned man out here, you know, to 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 slander a light skin. But the thing is with me is that I also know who to slander and know who not to slander. I'm gonna tell everybody this, being a dark skinned man. I'm gonna tell every light skinned person that I'm gonna tell everybody this. It doesn't matter what you are. I'm gonna tell everybody this. Leave Aubrey Drake Graham the fuck alone that nigga don't like to be bothered during album season and he don't like to be bothered for bullshit i'm I, it's not something that i'm i'm not quote unquote dick eating because i don't really believe in that i believe in supporting okay i'm not boosting it i'm just telling you what i see what others have seen and what meek witnessed firsthand okay and by meek i mean meek mill okay leave that nigga alone he don't care that he goes had Ghost Riders. He never claimed not to have Ghost Riders. He don't care that he's this fucking kid from Canada. He's always rep Canada. Then nigga went to Degrassi. Degrassi don't sound like no goddamn school in America. Okay? This he, He's never claimed to sell drugs. He's never claimed to be a killer. But you know what he has claimed to do? Have bars, have money, and have bitches. He, ha, he does have those things. These are things he knows very well. Being another, like, you know, one of those, you know, mulatto colored, you know, niggas, you know, I, you can't really, you know, discredit a lot of things he's saying, you know, about his money and his, his, you know, his pull and, you know, his status as a star, you know, his, his, uh, his beat choices, the fact that, yeah, he might have help on the songs, but guess what every song has in common? That nigga's on it. And guess what every song has in common? That shit goes top 10. You can't... If you want to argue with science, then you could argue it. But I'm just saying. Now you just gonna look like an a, a idiot. Like, this is, it's been... You don't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> you don't want no smoke. Because at the end of the day, he grew up with a white mother. And the one thing I've learned from white ladies, especially older white ladies, is that they are very willing to be petty. They don't give a fuck about, you know, your feelings. If they want to be petty, oh, that ass is going to be petty. And they're not going to be petty and just shut up about it. No, they're going to do uh, classic Drake moves and, you know, 
drop something that's completely disrespectful and then drop something that's, you know, not as disrespectful, but, you know, kind of like, nigga, you still ain't said nothing back. You still not going to talk. You still not going to answer his text. Hmm? You still not going to call him back. Come on, push. He out here sunning you, son. And I heard Infrared. Like I said, congratulations on the album. I heard the album. I heard Infrared. I... What haven't you said? <laughs> what haven't you said on there before? Just, you know, riddle me that. Everything I've heard on, everything you said on there, I've heard before. If not from you, then from somebody else, which then doesn't make it good. Now, if you ask me, I say, what the fuck about, like, why do we care about him having Quentin Miller as a writer? Can you just answer me that question? Why do we care about Quentin fucking Miller, a nigga who I didn't even know existed till Meek brought him up, and even then I still ain't know what that nigga looked like. I thought they were talking about Quentin Tarantino for all I fucking know. I don't fucking know. But I'm sitting here, like, you know, hearing this thing, Quentin, Quentin, you know, oh, he had a bunch of, he had this thing, Quentin, write his records. I'm like, okay, but uh, I haven't heard shit else from Quentin Miller either. So do I care? I haven't heard anything to be like, oh, Drake bit his sound. For all I know, nigga, you just helped Drake come up with a sound. I don't, look, I'm not here to speculate. I'm just here to boost. Okay, I'm not here to sit here and say who's wrong or right. I'm just here to boost a nice little beef. That's all. That's all I want to be known for. I want to be a booster. You want to know why I want to be a booster? Because I am a guy. You, you, I know you see in the Avengers, like you know. And again, I boost myself often. You know, very often. Because you know, if you're not gonna do it, who else will? But uh, you know, if if you're gonna refer to you know one of the Avengers movies, forget which one. Can't pinpoint it. But he's the guy. Oh, Age of Ultron. Boom. Scarlet, uh, not Scarlet. Uh, what should we call it? Scarlet Johansson. You know, Scar Jo, my baby. Wink. Uh, yeah, Black Widow. She spoke to the Hulk and said, here goes a guy avoiding the fight his whole life. Not because he can't fight, but because he know he'll win. That's like me. I know I'll win. So I... I don't have to fucking try and get into fights. I'm not worried about me winning or losing. I know I'm gonna win. So depend so it's not even fun anymore at that point. So you know what the next best thing is? Boosting the fuck out of a fight. Or just an argument. Oh, that's oh that's sweeter than that's sweeter than uh, a cigarette after sex when you know or a blunt after sex as I would like to do, you know, that's sweeter than that. It's like I get to sit here and watch y'all niggas be idiots because of something I said, and I'm not even the one going to be fighting anybody. Ah, <sighs> trust me, y'all know, y'all know, females know, certain niggas know, because there's certain niggas that just live for the boosted, and every female boosts. So, you know, y'all, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Leave Aubrey roll. He doesn't want to be bothered, and you know, and it's it's. Not for nothing, it seems like y'all niggas really, like, pick and choose times. I don't know if it's him, you know, picking a ch time to blow it up, which I'm pretty sure it is. Or if it's y'all picking a time, a bad time to really fuck with him. Like, I don't know what it is, but it seems like everybody wants to pick B for Drake when he has an album about to release. Which, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's more on his end. Boosting this whole shit, inflating it, because he knows he has an album coming out. So let me drop these two bangers. Who probably won't even be, be on my album, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna drop these bangers. See if I can get a Grammy off another one. Boost my name, boost the hype, boost the beef. So niggas will buy my album and see if I got any more distracts on the album about you. And I probably will. I'll probably have at least two more. And two more that are probably gonna be either just as fire or more fire than Duppy. And I'm upset. I don't like. I'm upset. You, it, it dropped so fast. I didn't even know it dropped until the day after, my nigga. And I, and I heard Duppy an hour after that bitch dropped. An hour. And I'm sitting here like, oh god. All right, I'm still coming down off of that one. And then this nigga, I, I, someone sends me a link. I'm upset. Fifty thousand all my head is disrespect. Fuck out of nigga. Oh, 
And let's not even talk about the fact that he really sent the invoice to this nigga. Let's not talk about that. For career revival, a hundred thousand, nigga, for career revival, and and promotion. Give that nigga his money, bro. <laughs> Give that nigga his bread. Cause look, who, I'm talking about your album just so I can lead up to Drake dissing that ass on not even his album, just on a single, two singles. You need to pay that nigga. <laughs> you need to pay that man. You you need to pay him, because I promise you, if it was up to me just listening to Charlamagne talk about it or anybody else talk about it, I would not have listened to your shit. Like, at least not this early. Let me not say not have done it, but I wouldn't have listened to it this early. I would have literally given it, like, another month or two. Like, you know, oh, eventually you're going to listen to this shit. Yeah, well, guess what? Eventually we're all going to die, but it doesn't mean we got to do it right now, huh? Uh, yeah, well, <sighs> leave that nigga alone, man. And shout out to you, Mr. Graham. Shout out to you because you really, you making me respect light skin niggas because I don't know what they're going to say or do. That's what you're making me do. You're making me go out here and be like, you know what? Let me not say what's going on. Waffle color warrior or, you know, yellow skin bandit. Yeah, you know, whatever, you know, pick, pick, a, pick one, pick one. Beige, be, you know, the Charlamagne with the beige rage or the beige bandit, anything beige, cream colored, you know, pick one. I've probably said it to one of you light skinned niggas. I've probably said it to a, a light skinned child. I've probably said it about your light skinned girlfriend. But you know what I do care about? Niggas' reputation. And I do not want to see Pusha T fall to another. I don't want to see another proud, dark-skinned man fall to a, a to a, not even another, the same light-skinned man that is out here disrespecting y'all with hard body lyrics. He's, technically, he's not even supposed to be a rapper, nigga. His life wasn't that hard. He don't got to struggle, struggle. He doesn't have a fucking, you know, an emotional story. That nigga was making, I mean, it might have been, you know, awesome money, but you were making some bread at 16, nigga, 15, like, you were all right compared. You was, and the fucked up part is that you, you had a better chance just sticking to that Degrassi, Degrassi character, because I thought that you were actually paralyzed. <laughs> That's the type of fucking TV show watcher I was. I used to think the shit that happened to people on shows really fucking happened. So I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, I never want to be an actor. Nigga, I got to get crippled for this shit. Nigga's going to have to put me in a wheelchair. Why did they? I mean, couldn't they just fake it? They got a fake gun, right? They had to use a real gun. I thought Drake was the realest nigga alive from early. But then, you know, I saw that nigga a couple years later on the red carpet walking. I was like, what the fuck is this? So we lying to me now, Hollywood? Never. Never again. But I guess what? I ain't going to say shit to him about it. <laughs> I ain't going to be like, yo, Dre, I really thought you was crippled, bro. You really bullshitting on that. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I ain't going to fucking criticize him for no bullshit like that. Come on. That's petty. Like, push. <laughs> like, push. You should have just left him alone, bro. I'm just saying that one more time. Just, just leave it alone. It's not that important. Think about it now. Was it that deep? Because sure, people are going to listen to one song off your album, but, you know, on a general, are we going to give a fuck about the rest? I might. I like Pusha T. But if he drops something next year, I might not be so inclined to listen to it. It depends on, I'm going to let Drake decide that for me. If Drake says it's cool, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put my musical values in that nigga's hands now because it seems like He's the only person that consistently, besides Kendrick, let me, let, besides Kendrick, let, Kendrick's on another level. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure most of us don't even have to bring him up in this conversation. We're going to leave him alone because him and Drake are beefing too. But the difference between Kendrick is that I think Kendrick could get Drake the fuck out of here. And that's, yeah, like he could get him the fuck out of here. No problem. I don't think Drake would, it would really stand a chance against Kendrick because Kendrick is disrespectful as fuck already. Like my man's, my man sat in front of a group of white people at the whitest event that you could probably think of, and 
told them niggas, I'm a proud monkey. You hate my people. You stealing my culture and uh, pretty much fuck you. Y'all niggas are some colonizers. Gangster. I ain't never seen Aubrey even come close to that. And I call him Aubrey because I put in respect on his name now. That nigga, Drake is a fine pop star, but Aubrey disrespected Pusha T. I don't know Pusha T's real name, but Aubrey disrespected you, my nigga. Not Drake, Aubrey. You let a nigga named Aubrey disrespect you thoroughly. I'm going to leave it at that. All right? That's as far as it's going to go. I just need for everybody to be on my same page. Leave that nigga alone. Just like I leave extra short people that like to fight alone, I leave them alone. I don't know what they're about to do. He's small as fuck talking about he won't fight me. No, he's crazy. Walk away. Okay? Pusha, walk away. Just chalk it up. Take the L. Walk away. You don't. I don't want to see this go any longer. Because you've already taken too long to respond. It's been I, I, it's been a few days now. Put, I, uh, he came out with that, you know, I'm guessing after he heard infrared. infrared. I'm going to need you to just walk away. Okay? Now, on to more... I'm not going to say pressing. I'm going to say on to more predictable topics. The Cavs are playing the Warriors again. And I'm highly upset. Because, obviously, I don't want LeBron to lose. Like, you know, I didn't want him to lose and not be in the finals. Because I need everybody to give my man the respect he deserves. That nigga's a GOAT, okay? That's number one. Uh, I'm going to need for the NBA to really take a look at what the fuck's going on here. Because why is it, like, you know, so conveniently when the Warriors finally look like they're about to be out? When they finally look like, yo, I don't think they're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't look that confident. Game six, they came back and I was pissed. Game seven, and starting off, I'm like, oh, yes. Come on, Rockets. Rockets looked like they were fitting to twax these niggas. Second half, like, I think they were up like 11 uh, by halftime. But I'm going to put this out there. If the if the uh, you know, you know the announcers and ESPN and all that shit haven't said it already enough, the way you beat the Warriors is do not let these niggas snap in the third quarter. When they come out in the third quarter, you have to shut them the fuck down early. Seems like y'all niggas don't learn, cause y'all played them the night before, and the same shit happened. They turned up third quarter, came back and spanked you. Y'all fucking really sat here and let these niggas out. I mean, as I say, let because to get the there's you don't let the same shit happen twice, my nigga. Like you, you don't, or you don't like you know get beat the same way twice. I should say that shit like that in professional sports. And nonetheless, that shit don't happen like that. You gotta let somebody come in and fucking twax you twice, the same way. When I mean the same, the same fucking way I expected LeBron to not lose game 7 y'all thought the Celtics was really gonna beat LeBron James LeBron don't lose game 7s especially not to weak ass teams and they're not weak ass teams but compared to LeBron they're weak not listen not the whole Cavaliers the whole Cavaliers as a whole without LeBron are trash I don't know how they're there we know how they're there but we don't know how like you know what I mean this nigga LeBron is a goat. That man is the goat. He, he like you don't you don't just do that. You don't just come out with a trash team, place fourth on purpose. Because I don't care what nobody says. That nigga could have stayed in that third spot if they wanted to, but no. You know, come out, get the four seed, get a. For for them it was difficult because yeah the Pacers aren't that good of a team, but I mean for that. Cavs team, yeah, that was a matchup they should probably shouldn't have won. And the fact of the matter is, is that my man's LeBron is sitting out here and showing y'all niggas, yo, I don't know if you understood or if my message got misconstrued, but he is dad. That is everybody's fucking father right now. I need y'all to realize this. I'm getting a little bit of static in my mic here. Not my mic, my uh, my headphones. Either way, 
That nigga's that. Okay? And for y'all that don't... Yeah. For y'all that don't want to realize that he's that. I'm sorry. You're just going to really have to, you know, learn how to get with the times, but nigga. They just going to leave you behind because that nigga's that. Oh, I got you. All right, cool. Back. Sorry. Ha Back. <coughs> Y'all can't complain. You don't get many of those. You don't get many of those cuts. Okay. So, you know, be grateful. Um, what was I saying? LeBron James. Showing us once again. Michael Jordan, you were great in your time, but you ain't touching this nigga. I'm sorry. Like, you're touching them, but you're not touching them. Like, bro, like, you, if you were to play a one-on-one -on -one to seven, seven-four, LeBron. Like, seven-four LeBron. And I'm not saying that, Le uh, you know, uh, and you know something? I don't even give a fuck. I'm not explaining myself anymore. I'm not explaining myself anymore because if we I explain myself, we can go back to forth with this fucking debate about stats, about all this extra shit. I don't care. Point blank period. Jordan's not beating that nigga one on one. If it's if it's make it take it especially, Jordan's not beating that nigga one on one. Same could be said for Michael Jordan one on one against LeBron. He could not be like you know make it take it if that nigga just don't miss. Ain't nothing you could really do. Overall, I see LeBron winning that. And if we talk about teams, his best team versus LeBron's best team, I definitely don't see you winning that. Hundred percent. The, the people on LeBron's best team, if you were going to go Heat, like, you had D-Wade, LeBron, Chris Bosh, fucking Ray Allen, sh shoots the fucking lights out. And the matchup, not, I can't, and I can't, you know, obviously, it's been, it was been a minute, so I can't name everybody on that team. But, matchup-wise, I don't give it to the Bulls. I only give it to the, you know, you don't like you say the Bulls will win because of Jordan. Because that's how all, whoever won them their games. Whenever Jordan didn't play, it didn't look so hot. So, and that's the one thing. I don't remember Jordan, like, quote, to let me know if I'm wrong. But I don't remember Jordan playing an entire season. When I mean an entire season, I mean all 82 games, plus he hasn't missed a playoff season, playoff game. Don't remember ever seeing that or hearing about that. Because if that was a thing, then, you know, obviously props out to you. But you didn't do that with no help. Like, <laughs> this nigga had to kind of like to really play all games all season and be the load scorer every game all season. Because anytime he wasn't, they lost. And if that nigga, you know... And yeah, they could be like, oh yeah, what what does that say? You know, he was playing games and they still lost. Yeah, but he also didn't score that much of those games. I guarantee you that. I guarantee he had a lot of oh, excuse me. Guarantee he had a lot of like 27, 28, 25 point games, 20 point games where they just got lost. They they would not just got lost. They lost. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember a lot of 20-point games and 25-point games for LeBron, you know, where he didn't have Kyrie where they won. So, you know, that just really says something about this, man. We know what the argument is going to be for days, okay? You're all going to bring up the rings, and I'm going to bring up the fact that this nigga would never beat him one-on-one, -on -one, you know. Well, not never, but wouldn't beat him one-on-one. -on -one. I'm, I'm going to bring up the fact that I don't think his teams could be... Could be most of LeBron's teams, not any of them, because apparently, because obviously we know he had some trash, trash teams that he was like, you know, a part of. But he's giving them a fucking run, my nigga. He's giving them a run. And that's one argument I love that I heard the other day that somebody brought up was the fact that the reason why Jordan, for me and for some other people, especially in this generation, can't be the GOAT. 
is because we had another person that was just like him in Kobe. Kobe was Jordan, but for the next generation. You can't argue that. LeBron is nobody. Nobody's LeBron, and LeBron is nobody from any generation. He is his own fucking, like, that's his name. Like, that's, he cemented his name forever as just a player in his own fucking right. Like, nobody can touch this man because nobody's going to be the next LeBron James. You already had the next Jordan, and it was Kobe. Five rings, all the stats, playoff stats, like, was a killer. But now you're having that man. The only the only thing he's missing is two, maybe one more ring. That's the only thing he's missing. Everything else he's already shitted on everybody for. Come on, son. Come on. Y'all know and I know that if we're talking about that, if that if that's the argument, LeBron's the best. The best comes from what you can't like. It cannot be copied. The best can't be copied. That's the best. That's what makes the best the best. The best has one version and one version only. That's what makes something the best. Like the best, <coughs> the best fighting games will be set up like Street Fighter. There's no other fucking way. Like the best fighting games are always set up like Street Fighter. 2D with that fucking, you know, nice special effects, cool, cool button map, um, you know, layouts and everything. And just an awesome fucking, you know, visual spect spectacle to fucking watch. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the best type of game, fighting game you will get. Like, you know, you, best type of shooting games you will get will be set up like Call of Duty because that was the best shooting game you could get. Like, that, like Halo. Actually, let me take it back to Halo because Call of Duty is even set up like Halo, really. You know what I'm saying? Especially the new ones. New ones are set up like Halo. You, you, you can't really argue with it. There's a format for everything. Once you start to go across uh, off that format, my nigga, like, you know, you can... You can definitely make your own way, obviously. But the basics always stay the same. It's always got to be basic, son. You got to learn the basics. The basics of being unique, there's not more than one of you. That's the basics. <laughs> That's the basics of being the best or unique or the most, you know, you know, special. The majority of us ain't special. That nigga LeBron. He's special. His son, and, and, and his son won't be anything like him. If anything, he's either going to be worse or better. He can't be like LeBron. He's going to be worse or better. There's only two ways to go. Because as far as as far as being like LeBron, his son would have to, you know, be his exact specs, which I don't think he is. I don't think he will be. Because overall, he because he should either he should only either be taller than LeBron or a tad bit shorter based on genetics. I'm never, I'm like, you know, you don't see a lot like Sharif O'Neal. He, he's not as tall as Shaq, but he's still tall as fuck. And yet he's not done growing yet, but the chances are as tall as he is now, he's probably going to be taller than Shaq when he gets, uh, when he gets, because I think he's like, what, 6'11 now? He's almost 7 foot now. Like, that nigga's going to be taller than Shaq when he gets through and through with it. Like, it doesn't really... I'm taller than my father and my dad and my parents aren't that tall. Y'all are going to be shorter or taller. But like I'm saying, that, that part really doesn't matter. That's here. That's important. Not important. What's important is that he's going to be better because one thing he starts, uh, he started to develop now than later than his dad, you know, that was keeping his dad back is that jump shot. Nigga, that nigga can shoot. And he got some paddle. So imagine LeBron James, but like a full guard. But still, probably will be fucking big as shit. Oh y'all, we're talking about like a, a athlete, like a super athletic Magic Johnson almost, nigga. I know I'm probably boosting him, but like, I don't care, nigga. Can you imagine? I tell you, don't. My kids are gonna hate me. My kids are gonna hate me because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell them straight up. Yeah, you can do sports. Only if you're going to, you know, take it like 100% serious. I'm not going to do this fucking, oh, I want to just see what it's like. No, 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 no. We have video games to just see what it's like. If you want to play some sports money, if you want to be in a competition-based environment, 
Oh. Oh, you got to train for that, baby. You got to make sure you're ready for that because I am an asshole. I am an asshole. I wish my bro was here because he, he trains for basketball and shit. And I, and I, uh, I help him where I can because I just, I, I like to think I know enough about like, you know, just the athletics in general, just how to move your body, how to like, you know, where you should be, especially with those sports. If I watch sports for a, a month, like if I watch that specific sports, I just study for a month. I'll, I'll have it. I'll have it down. Exactly. Like at least the simp, like the simple shit, the basic shit. I'll have it down. What did, uh, what? Oh, I was watching the A team yesterday. What did he say? He said, give, give him an hour. He's good. Give him, uh, a day. He's great. Give him six months. He's unstoppable. Well, yeah. <laughs> I get it. basically what he said. All right. And you know what? Boom, bitch. I, like I said, I boost myself because if I'm not going to do it, who else will? I think I'm that good. So when it comes down to it, I'm an asshole when it comes to sports. I'm a dick because if you expect just mainly about sports, I know. Sports, I know. I'm not a dick about like soccer shit because, yeah, I know soccer and I understand it, but I don't give a fuck about it. So I'm not going to bother being a dick about it. Lacrosse, I'm not a dick about it. I know about it. I like it. Fuck with it. I'm not going to be a dick about it because I don't really give a fuck. But football, basketball, fighting, MMA, oh yeah, I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be an asshole. Don't come to me with that dumb shit. I had somebody tell me, I had somebody tell me, that I fucking made, I made a sports prediction. Like I made my sports predictions, especially about the uh, the Sixers and the Celtics, because I wanted to piss off the Philly fans. My nigga, <laughs> if I wanted to piss off the Philly fans, I just show them their records for the past twenty fucking years. If I wanted to piss off a Philly fan, all right? Yeah, they won their chip this year. Whoop the fucking do. Good. Everybody gets one. Guess what? Pull it off again this year and I'll shut up permanently. Until then, I'm still going to talk my shit. I don't believe Philly fa- Philly sports are going to amount to be really much of anything. Good, Like I said, good job for football. Y'all got super fucking lucky. It was a great season, but I'm going to stick by. Y'all got super everything in line for you that year. Everything in line. Y'all got the fucking clear stars across the board for that one. All power to ye. But I shall say this. If you think Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid were ready to go anywhere near a conference final this year, you're crazy. Because Joel Embiid is sitting here eating burgers before games. And Ben Simmons is sitting here passing, which is good. But you get an open jump shot and you look like you, like, you know, you're ready to shit your pants. You got to get the ball out of your head or you got to go to the rim. You need to stop playing games. That's why they shut you down for one point and like one point, like two assists. You know what I'm saying? You got to chill. Take your fucking steps. Because I said exactly what I said was going to happen, happened. And he's talking about I'm making it because I just wanted to piss off Philly fans. No, I said this. Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons aren't ready to play playoff offense nor defense against niggas like Al Horford, Aaron Baines, uh, Jalen Brown. Yes, they are on um, the Jalen Brown, like Jason Tate. Yes, they're young. Jason Tate and uh, like, you know, Jalen Brown, Terry Rosier. Yes, they're young. But the one thing you saw from the Bucks fucking uh, from the Bucks, uh, like, you know, series, them niggas don't give a shit. They are ready to air it the fuck out. They're ready to shoot on you, drive it, anything. They're ready to air you the fuck out. And they don't care. I didn't see that in the Sixers. Yeah, they were yeah, they were ready to like, you know, beat the Heat, but like I think I'm pretty sure y'all went to a game seven for the Heat. The Heat weren't even that good of a team. And y'all were letting Joe you were letting Joe Johnson fucking look like he was, you know, a a, 
Uh, oh, let's see. What's a good? <laughs> what's a good? Uh, let me say. Let me just say a shadow LeBron. A shadow LeBron. When LeBron was giving you know half of an effort on the Heat, that's what he was starting to look like a little bit. Making them corner threes, going and banging on niggas, playing rough defense. You know, getting in niggas' faces. Like you know, could be could be a stretch, but you know, you get the idea. Y'all making that nigga look like that. Come on. Do you know D Wade's gonna do what he does? You were making Martin Dro you were making Drogic look like fucking uh like Steph out there, my nigga. Let's be real. Y'all were making that nigga look good. And you mean to tell me I was supposed to believe they were ready to play the Celtics for real? No. Y'all niggas was still stuck on the fact that y'all made it that far. Y'all were still like, oh yo. We like we we're the best Sixers team in like damn near ten in like damn near five years. They gonna tell da 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 da. Then you know, come on. You gotta come with more intensity than that. You got I I gotta look on your face and really be like, oh yeah, nah, that nigga's ready to play. And then I feel that. I felt like y'all niggas were ready to go out there. We all weren't ready to play. Them niggas were ready to play. <laughs> Celtics were ready to play. Because they came out here on LeBron and was trying to spray shit. Let me tell you something, Terry. Terry Rosier, Scary Terry. Let me tell you something, my friend. I fuck with you a whole lot. I'm going to need you to think a little bit better about your actions. I know it's the, you know, the time you were sitting there. You're like, you know, you're like, yo, I'm about to really bang on this nigga LeBron. Let me get this bitch in. Like, you know, I, I know. I feel you. I be getting that way in the game when I'm about to, like in 2K when I'm about to dunk on LeBron. I'm like, oh, yeah, come here, boy. Bang! Give me that shit. Get out of my fucking face. No, son. This is real life. That nigga LeBron jogged next to you. Contemplate. You can look on. I could. I didn't even see his face. You can look on the back of that nigga's head. The amount of wrinkles that nigga got. You can look on the back of his head and see his facial. Like, come on, don't do it. You really about to do it? Okay. When I pinch and snatch your shit, send that bitch away. I'm telling you, my nigga. I'm telling you. You need to cut it out. I'm telling you. I. Nah, I, I'm watching my call. My phone's on the speaker now. Yeah. I don't know what that is. But. This nigga. Yeah. This man, LeBron James, showed you why he's your dad. Pint that. Sent that bitch. Don't try to dunk on the man. Jason Tatum got his. Good for you. Great setup. Way to come in. Take advantage of that. Terry, you tried to force it. And granted, granted, let's say this too, because we have to look at both sides. What if that nigga would have got the dunk off? I think they, if he gets that dunk on LeBron, they lose that game. Cavs lose that game. Because I think LeBron himself is going to be like, you know what? It's not my year. Fuck it. A point guard just banged on me. And it wasn't Russell Westbrook. I'm done. I'm done. So, I'm, I'm glad LeBron had enough in him to be like, you know what? Fuck that noise. And send that shit. Because he would have never heard the end of that. Especially with, especially Stephen A. Smith. Oh, Stephen A. would have loved that shit. Oh, he the fucking came in his pants for that for that opportunity. Terry Rozier bangs on LeBron James. Oh, nigga, stop. You know the only person that would have loved it more than him was Skip. Would be Skip Bayless. Oh, Skip would literally fucking like, yeah. Skip would pay money to see that. May pay millions to see that. So. Thank you, LeBron. Thank you for shutting these niggas up. I really appreciate it. I'm a, I'm all, I'm a believer in you know, people getting credit for their good deeds. Just like Kyrie got, should didn't get enough credit for that chip. I believe he should have got credit for that chip. That he won that chip because he ain't hit that bucket, bro. I don't know what would have happened. Yeah, LeBron chased down that block, but. That the shot was made. Cross crawl in, in your mitten. Okay. I said, we gotta look just look. Give the appreciation because you see what happens when you don't. Get niggas going to Boston. 
And I understand how so many black people want to go to Boston when we know what's in Boston. Okay? The drunk Irishmen are in Boston. And they are, I don't even, let me say this. Yeah, obviously, then, you know, you, you have the racists in Boston, and usually majority, because them, them, them Red Sox games, I heard, are not uh, pleasant. But let's be real. Them niggas just hate everybody that ain't them. <laughs> so if you come and you're not, you know, another fucking Irishman that likes to get drunk and, and watch sports, and if you're, granted, you might be the, you might be the fucking, like, you know, the player, and they love their players, but, you know, they also do hate their players when they're doing bad. So think of if you ever just did bad, Kyrie. Oh, them niggas are fucking tossing you out. They're not as bad as Philly, but they can be close. And you lucky this is not baseball. Like, if you were ass in baseball, they would just fucking hang you. They'd kill you. They'd just kill you automatically in the street. Set you as an example. Don't come to Boston and be trash. <laughs> mm -mm. You can't. And the only reason why, what's it? Gordon Hayward can get away with it because his name is Gordon Hayward. Let's Gordon Hayward. Do you really think they're going to blame him for anything? Just like they, Brad Stevens. That nigga hasn't even made it to, uh, like, you know, a final yet, and my nigga is a genius. The next Popovich. <coughs> is it really? It has to. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> cause, cause it's. Yeah. You for you forget smoke. You forget smoke has like properties like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. Because right now, when I sparked it right underneath the shit, it was doing that too. Oh man, god damn, that's how. Oh no, you're good. No problems. Your problems. You you get to do things like that. Other people don't get to do that, Chris. I, that's because I love you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all think it's a game out here. Brad Stevens is not the next Popovich, at least not yet. Yeah, he's smart, but he ain't that smart. But like, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. The only reason why Popovich is, gets the clout he does is because he's been doing that shit 20 years straight. And after 15, they gave him that clout. So, calm your buttons. Calm your buttons. Fuck. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm out here trying to live my best life. You know, I'm uh, I'm pretty satisfied with these fucking events. I'm 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 satisfied with what's been unraveling socially. I'm 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 gonna not gonna lie to you. I haven't been paying attention to anything political because I I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm fucking exhausted. The niggas even even woke niggas do need to sleep. Remember that. That ain't even from me, but that's a that's a hot line. Whoa, nigga. Who the fuck is this? Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Messing up. Yeah. What well, niggas do need to sleep to? So, you know, I'm I, I'm going to chill out. Fucking uh, political blackout for a little bit. Come back. Find out what's going on. I could walk. You know, th that's the good thing about uh 24-hour news cycle is that everything goes by so fast. I can always just go back and catch up to what the fuck's going on. That's always a good thing. So, thank you, Twitter, Instagram, and The Daily Show. <laughs> With Trevor Noah. Yeah. <laughs> we out here. You know what I am? You know what I'm absolutely glad I'm seeing? Though? I'm seeing so much more fucking, like, not even just black, just, like, different ethnicity sh on everything. I'm seeing way more than just white and black on everything now. And I'm... I'm pretty fucking satisfied with that because I'm a person that, of course, I believe in the empowerment of black people. Yeah, black people need to get their faces in uh, in the more things. And I think they need to get in the more businesses, obviously. That's not even, a, that's not a question. But I like seeing every fucking different ethnicity get through because you can't really, you can't ignore every, anybody. You can't ignore any race or religion or any type of like, you know, 
You can't do that because at the end of the day, they will get just as mad as we did. You know, they will get like, you know, butthurt about it. Like there are always going to be issues if you neglect a certain group. So the fact that everybody's getting represented now in like TV and cartoons and all that extra shit, fucking crazy. That's really crazy. Never, uh, I didn't think it would happen that fast because it, it was literally like about two years ago. I was like, yo, is everybody going to be fucking white? Is anything going to be black? Is anything going to be Spanish? Is anything going to be Asian? And then they were like, yeah, nigga, shut up. It takes time to edit. <laughs> That's basically what they did. Like, nigga, editing does take time. So yes, shut up. Be quiet. Just wait. You'll get, you'll get your shit. Thank you. That's all I really asked for. Anybody asks you not to have your feelings, everybody got to have their feelings. But don't, don't carry out those, those feelings. That's rude. You can't just be. Nobody likes that. Mm. This, uh, what the, see, every, every time I get around y'all, my shit be going out all the time, yo. Now I look like I can't roll. I'm telling you, you know what? That'll be. That's all I'm going to say, that'll be. I've been watching a lot of dance videos lately. I feel like I could fucking take all late twins right now. I'm really out here. I got, I got ants in my pants and I'm ready to dance. Ooh. <laughs> God damn. Um, shout out, uh, shout out to my brother in New York. Uh, check out his restaurant. If y'all niggas in New York is listed, Savannah Ray's. That, uh, the food looks popping. I haven't been by yet. I'm a bad person for that. Don't trust me. I know. But hey, I think I'm pretty sure I'm going up there Thursday. So hopefully I, I can pop by, stop through, get me a plate of food and a nice little cocktail too. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I'm smooth like jazz music. If you know how I do it. Ah, wink wink <laughs> nah but uh this, nah, the food there looks fucking popping I heard very good things they got these fucking parties like every certain days every day of the week so I mean like oh, well, not every day of the week certain days every week they'll have these fucking events and parties and niggas had a mother's day brunch hopefully they're doing something for father's day because you know everybody knows they're just as important Let's not forget about our dads. <laughs> you know, hopefully one day I'll be somebody's daddy too. And I could tell him, hey, little one, come here. You see that nigga over there? Don't fuck with him. He smell like trash juice. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to tell my kid. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids, don't trust anybody that stinks, honey. You can't, they can't even take care of themselves. How are they supposed to look after you? All I'm gonna tell them, any girl that stinks, son, you're gonna get away from her. She can't watch a coochie. And it makes you think she's gonna watch the stove or watch the baby. She can't even watch her own pussy. Things to live by, son. For my daughters, if a nigga don't wash his hair, the nigga don't care. He ain't gonna take you and take care of you or that baby. Can't even take care of his follicles. You see this? This is dedication. You see this? This is this, if I see my daughter walk in the house with a nigga with dreads, I'm like, hmm. And his dreads look nice. Like mine don't look the best, but they they look all right. Like they're separated. You could tell there's separate dreads in there, and they don't look like a fucking afro. Then some shit sticking out of it. I've seen a lot of those lately. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand my brother because I'd be going like a few months without my shits being done, and they don't look like that, nigga. You talking about? Oh, nigga, I got them done. I got them done two months ago. How? It looks like someone fucking set a fucking defibrillator to the top of your fucking head and just, it's just out now. That's just it. That's this constant state of it. No, I don't accept that. I, I call lies. <coughs> I need, oh yeah. Um, 
this is a PSA going now. I need somebody to do my hair pronto dente. Like, I need somebody to do my hair, like, on a very consistent basis. Because I be, for the most, like, eh, I, be, I be in the same places a lot of time. But I'm moving around, you know what I'm saying? I'm hard to catch. And so are my fucking hairdressers, apparently. Because these motherfuckers always booked up. Didn't know y'all were that good. But congrats. I need somebody to do my hair. It's not that much, you know, I just need somebody to twist it, separate it, twist it, get my parts looking nice. So when I go and get my fade, I look like a million fucking bucks. You know what I'm saying? My hair looking like uh, I don't know of a really rich nigga with dreads, but I mean, like two chains is a really rich nigga with dreads, but I don't want to look like two chains. That nigga. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there. I like to think I look better than two chains. If I don't, I don't care. Don't, don't tell me I don't, cause I'm gonna tell you you're lying. Okay. I like to think I look better than two chains. So let's just, uh, let's just keep, you know, him and me and anybody else with dreads. Like, you know, let's just keep me away from them. Like Waka, don't tell me I look like Waka. Don't tell me. I let me tell you right now, this is, this is going to be the only time I'm saying this and the last time I say this. Do not tell me I look like Fat Trail. You can think it all you want. You can say it to your friends. You tell me I look like Fat Trail and I promise you I'm dropping my shit and we're throwing the hands up. I'm going to box your fucking head off right then and there. I'm kind of tired of it. I don't really like, I don't mind it. I don't mind, you know, getting compared to people, but I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get compared to some nigga that one, I don't know that much. I know he raps and shit. I don't know of this nigga really. Don't listen to any of his shit. Two, that, you know, I necessarily think I could fuck him up with my hands. Yeah. I mean, oh, we shoot. We shoot. I don't, good for you. I fucking box. Hands, I think I can fucking fight half these niggas. Half these niggas in the rap game, I'm, with the exception of the game, can't be, that nigga, I'm not trying to fight him. Uh, You know, certain things, people like him. I'm, you know, with certain exceptions of some niggas that I like and, you know, that I feel like, you know, would be just a whole hassle to really deal with in any type of altercation. I just want you to know something. I will give y'all niggas the hands. It's not hard. I don't care. I don't want to. I'm not a fighter like that. But I don't care. Don't tell me I look like this nigga Fat Trump. I don't know. I don't like this nigga. Okay? Now, if you tell me I look like Nazi Niles, I'll accept it because that nigga's at least funny. He is funny. And I do look like him. <laughs> you know, if I look like, you know, a, any other big black nigga but Fat Trail and, and, you know, niggas like that, please stop. I'm not, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not accepting it. There will be problems. You've been warned. Everybody and everybody who knows me and listens to this bitch is going to be crying when I say this shit because they know how many times this shit happens. They fucking know. And I do, I, nigga, oh, I'm getting hot thinking about it. Woo! I'm telling you, woo! I have look, I have a, I have a fought in about a good three years. So, just think about it like that. I have a fought in three years. So that could either mean one or two things: either I'm rusty, or I'm, I got a lot of pent up aggression. I take my bet on the second one before I take the bet on the first one because I, I don't really, I'm, I don't get rusty. You know, I fight my friends a lot. Okay. Ooh, it felt good to get that off my chest. I'm not gonna hold you. That 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 one that that one weighs on me a little bit because I don't I don't I, I just can't fuck it. It's everybody I beat. You know who you look like? Fat Trail. Yo, you know you know who you look like? It's this rap. Oh, I'm Fat Trail. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him. Yeah. Now it's on site. It's on site. Anybody tell them, oh, you look like Fat Trap. All right, cool. Drop your bags. Drop your bags. But, but, but I'm a girl. Drop your bags. Because I said it. 
and yet, I don't listen to your podcast, bitch. Now you should listen. Take the time now to listen to my podcast, so you catch things like this, okay? Because this things like this will save you ten minutes out of your day from getting your ass whooped, male or female. I don't discriminate for that. For that, I'm not promoting beating women. Not a good thing, but. Sometimes I got to draw a line. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what's funny? You know what's absolutely hilarious? I know that making jokes like that right now is probably not a good idea. Because why? Because women are really going through a tough time. Well, I mean, going through a time right now, it's a hard time for them. You know, when you're getting sprayed with water hoses, then, you know, I call it tough, but it's, it's a hard time. And, you know, I, I definitely feel for you, but you want equality. And if you want equality, I'm good. I make fun. I make fun of men when tragic things happen to them too. I'm not going to hold you. So if you, we want to really push this equality nar narrative, I'm all for it. I will get, I am all for it. Cause I believe you guys work just as hard, if not harder in society. And if it wasn't for y'all, we would all be just fucking beating rocks on top of other rocks with no solution. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for this equality business, but equality does mean equality. It does mean a couple different things too. Cause I make fun of men when bad things happen to them too. I fucking, I, when men disrespect me in certain ways, Sometimes they catch their hands too. Now I'm not gonna fight. Obviously, I'm not gonna go to knock you a woman out. That's fucked up. But uh, you know, if I grab you and toss you around a little bit, don't get, don't be upset, don't be shocked. I'm gonna treat you like I would anybody else. You think I'm fucking playing with you? I'm not gonna just go outright just hit a man first. I'm gonna grab him up. What are you doing? What do you feel like you want to do? And then if he starts to swing on me, that's you know, a different case. I don't, I don't see a woman actually swinging on me. I don't even see you getting that far. But you know what? I have to put it out there. We got we talk we talk about it because when we talk about equality, there has to be things like that too. Because there's equality in everything. You're not just talking about equality in certain areas. You need equality all around. Yes or no? You need to be held equal equal to some of the fucking the harshness of the of society out here. We we as men do not get a lot of sympathy. Very little sympathy gets shown for the shit that happens. Cause why we're supposed to be men we're supposed to tough it the fuck out. Well, we want equality. Sometimes you gotta be a woman. Sometimes you gotta tough it the fuck out. Some shit that you just gotta deal with. Some things I just gotta deal with. I'm not an asshole. I'm just saying if the, the and everybody looks at me crazy when I say shit like this, but, they, but when I break it down, just, just like I did, they're like, you know what? You're well, I see what you're right. Because you're talking about what? Equality all around. That that's what it means. You can't just pick and choose what, what fucking equal, uh, what rights you get and don't get. What you do and don't get to do. If I got to pick that, nigga, I'd be on Wall Street with dreads and smoking the Dutch in the goddamn office. But you don't get to pick and choose. Sometimes you don't get, you're not suited for that. I'm on, I'm all for it. I understand. It's just the way it is. I would love to change it. I want to try and change it. But for the time being, while it is what it is. Nigga, hot take of the day. <laughs> hot take of the day. Nah, but seriously, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really not going to hit a woman. But I'll probably scream at you and call you names. You can always count on that. I will scream at you and call you names. But I'm not gonna hit you. Oh, cold fist. I'm not gonna close fist you. <laughs> I'm not gonna close because guarantee. Because I've had, I've heard, have had girls swing at me before. I didn't hit them. They didn't even smack them. But it's just kind of annoying because when they do hit me, it, you know, y'all, y'all know how to hit hard. So when you know, I've been cracked in the jaw before, and I was like, oh yeah, woosa. Let me not. Let me. Let me not, I think Jesus is telling me not to punch this girl in her fucking eye socket. Don't punch her in the eye socket. That's what he said. So I'm just going to chill. I'm going to listen to him. And I'm not going to punch her in the eye socket. But I tell you what, 
now officially a thought has ran through my mind. So now I will envision me every now and again punching you in that same eye socket. Just just whenever I get mad. You feel me? Don't take it personal. But you know, it's, it's what happens sometimes. I have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> Oh my god, yo, I am, yo, yes, <laughs> yet again, with the spicy, spicy, spicy content, not that spicy, but pretty spicy, it's caliente, you know, I like my food with a little bit of kick, <laughs> god damn, how, how much, how much longer am I looking, oh yeah, oh yeah, so, Back to, um, okay, so my points for today, guys. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re reiterate because, yes, I don't like to repeat myself, but I, you know, saying it three times, they say, does help you remember. And I said it a bunch of times earlier, what I was saying, but I'm gonna give it to you one more time just for your noggins. Rule number one. Leave Aubrey Graham the fuck alone. He doesn't want to be bothered. <laughs> Rule number two. LeBron James' dad of the league. Respect him. He gets the big piece of chicken at the dinner table. Nothing is said about it. He gets the big cup of juice and the big piece of chicken. All right. Number three. Equality means everything. <laughs> it means everything you can't just pick and choose what size it means everything if you want it to be saying the same way for one as the other then that's what has to happen or else anything it's just bullshit if it's not that then it's just bullshit it's not really a quality it's just you wanted to do something and not get criticized for it or get uh told you couldn't do it fine that's all good there's shit I want to do that I want to do, don't want to be criticized for. Guess what? It don't work that way. Get ready. Jolly Green Giant. We'll soon be on your fucking television, nigga. Give me some more time. I'm coming to TV to give you all that razzle dazzle. Ah. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. Kisses. Tell your mama said hey. Oh. Bang. Text message. <laughs> oh my gosh.